Hey guys, it's Kristen and today I'm going to be doing my May favorites and I am so 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 sorry that we haven't been around to film for like the past four months or so. Um, so we just got out of school yesterday which was Friday if this goes up at the right time and um, I think I'm going to start filming in my bedroom. This is my bedroom right here. So unless I do like makeup tutorials and stuff, I'm going to film at my vanity. But for other things like that, I'm going to be filming here. And today we are going to be um, talking about my May favorite favorites. Yeah. So let's just get into it. So the first favorite I have is the Pink Beauty Blender. Um, this is just the original pink one. It's kind of dirty because I used it today. And I do have the Black Beauty Blender, but I love this one a lot more than I do my black one so that's why it's in my favorites. This favorite I have are the Wet n Wild brushes. These are the ones with the pink tips and these are so... Hello brush. These are so 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 soft. I mean yeah I actually found these at Dollar Tree so they were each a dollar and they had a lot so they have a large concealer brush which I use to pack on eyeshadow they have an angled contour or blush brush. They have a really fluffy crease brush that I am obsessed with. I'm gonna use cast a spell on you. And then there's the large fluffy brush. And the thing I like about them is that they have a little thumb like hole or like a finger indent so that you know where your finger's supposed to go and you, your eye lanterns have to be flawless. So the next thing I have is the Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Fair Neutral. Um, I use this under my eyes and to highlight because it is so brightening. So I don't use it to like cover up anything. That's what I have the other concealer for. But I'm only mentioning this one. Oh, hold on. <laughs> yeah. The next thing I have is the Maybelline Fit Me yeah the Maybelline fit me dewy and smooth foundation this summer I've been loving the dewy skin look and I'm in the shade 115 ivory yeah I like the way like I like how it's so luminous and it just gives a nice brightening effect to any makeup look yeah I'll do swatches of everything at the end by the way the next thing I have is the Urban Decay Cannonball Ultra Waterproof Mascara. If you do not own this, you need to buy it. Like, um, I'll get a close-up of the wand for you. This is the wand. It's a nice felt tip. I'm not into the plasticky wands. Yeah! So, um, I wanted a waterproof mascara for this summer so that I could, like, go in the pool and still look kind of nice if we go somewhere afterward or before. So as I was saying, it's definitely worth the money, even though it is pretty affordable for a high-end brand. The next thing I have is the Milani Prep Set and Go Transparent Powder. This is very, very translucent. Like it's white. It's like the Makeup Forever powder. You can see I've been loving it. I've only had it for a month. I love using this to bake with. So you can see it's there. And it's a drugstore brand. Um, I've had the Makeup Forever Loose Powder. I feel like this one is definitely better than the Makeup Forever one. So save your money and get this one. I have the Clean and Clear Night Relaxing All-in-One Cleansing Wipes. These are to take off your makeup at the end of the day. Um... These smell like really good and they're just white and they're super soft. They honestly smell so relaxing. Like if you ever use the relaxing lotion from Bath and Body Works, this is exactly what it smells like. Whenever I use it or after I use it, it just puts me right to sleep because of how calming it is and it's still like all over my face. They smell like lavender and chamomile. It, they're amazing. And they're really affordable, so you guys should go check them out. The last two things I have are lip products. 
And the first one is the NYX Liquid Suede Lipst Cream Lipstick in the shade Soft Spoken. Oh my god, you guys. This is like my favorite lipstick ever. It dries matte. It doesn't get all over the place. Um, it's a really pretty neutral shade. Like I said, I'll swatch everything later in a second. But this is just such a good lipstick, y'all. You need it in your life. And it's also a drugstore because it is NYX. So, go and get it. Yeah. Last item I have is the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color in the shade Seduction. So, it's also a really pretty Kylie Jenner nude. But this one doesn't, like, dry down. It kind of just stays a little liquidy. But I do love the color and I've been looking for these for so long and I finally found it and once again it is drugstore brand so now we're just gonna get into the swatches okay this is the NYX liquid suede one I'm just gonna swatch it on the back of my hand look how pretty that is it's like the perfect Kylie Jenner nude Oop. And it's really affordable and really, really pretty. So this is the Revlon one, and we're just going to swatch this one. Like, they're pretty comparable. This one, like, they're almost the same. This one has a more pink to it, like, a more orangey tone than the last one. Um, yeah, this one has more of a burgundy tone to it than this one. But honestly, I love them both. I'm going to swatch the Cannonball Mascara. I'm going to show you the wand as well. Oh, those plants out there are going crazy. So this is the mascara wand like I showed you earlier. There's some fibers in the mascara, but not too many. So this is when you swatch it. And here's if it's just like plain black. Hold on. Yeah, so that's the actual color. This is what the bristles do. And I'm actually wearing it right now. My eyelashes are very, very thin and brown, so you really can't see them. But with this mascara, it is honestly the best. And I've probably been wearing it for about um, four hours or so, and it has not flaked off, which is really surprising for a mascara. I am highly, highly impressed. You definitely need it. What the heck? Did I just kiss it? Yeah, guys, that was all for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment down below, like up this video, and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Um, we're definitely going to be making more videos this summer. I know we're going to make some vlogs because we're going on some trips, but I'm not going to say anything. It's got to be a secret. So we're going to do some vlogs. Um, I don't know, probably challenge videos. If y'all want that, comment down below what videos you want. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye.